film, Fences, based on the Pulitzer Prize winning play by August Wilson, tells the story of the Maxson family as they live and work in 1957 Pittsburgh. Russell Hornsby plays Lyons and Michael T. Williamson plays his uncle, Gabriel. But Gabriel hasn't been the same since suffering a serious head injury during the war. Hey, hey, the choice, boy. How you doing, Uncle Gabe? Lion! Ah. Ah. <laughs> the king of the jungle. <laughs> Rose, hey Rose, I got a flower for you. I, I picked it myself. That's the same rose like you is. Oh, that's right. Nice of you, Gabe. What you been doing, Uncle Gabe? Oh, I've been chasing hellhounds and waiting for the time to tell St. Peter to open the gates. You've been chasing hellhounds, huh? Well, you doing the right thing, Uncle Gabe. Somebody's got to chase them. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. This was morning. an incredible film. Tell us a little bit about what it was like playing these characters. I, it was just an honor. It was an honor to revisit the characters, uh, to work uh, again uh, on August Wilson, but also to bring the family back together. We uh, worked on Broadway in 2010, and uh, it felt like coming back home. You know, I, I was so blessed to be able to see that on Broadway. How difficult, McKelty, was it making the transition from a basically a, a one-stage kind of set to something that's a little more cinematic? Well, it, it, the beauty of the, the, the difference is on stage, the audience can focus anywhere. Mm -hmm. But in cinema, the director and the actors are going to focus you where you need to be so you can follow the story. So it was a higher level of responsibility to focus people and pull them along the journey than it was on stage. And let's talk about your roles for a moment. You play, you know, one of the sons and, you know, Troy Denzel was a tough father, tough love. Mm -hmm. You're a budding musician. Talk to me about that dynamic and then you can jump in with yeah. your role with the, you know, you have a brain injury. <clears throat> but you know what? You can't underestimate your character because in the end, I feel like it was your character that gave me my aha at the end. I don't want to give it away, no, but, right. but go ahead. Well, as you said, my character is a, a budding musician, but I think more importantly, he was uh, really looking for love. Mm -hmm. He was coming by the by Max and family every week to try to make a, a, a connection with his father, Troy, and, you know, trying to find some way to just uh, to have a semblance of family in his life. Mm -hmm. right. and, uh, and the Gabriel character is an injured person. He has a traumatic brain injury, so he's not completely at himself, you don't think? You think he's actually unaware of what's going on around it, but you find out he's actually the most elevated, most perspicacious character there is. He's actually Troy's caretaker, equally as Troy is his, his well, caretaker. That's good. Yeah. This was directed by Denzel. You got to work with him. What's right. he like as a, a director and a, and a fellow actor? Listen, Denzel's amazing. I mean, I, you know, Russell uh, can tell you firsthand, there's, there's nobody quite like Denzel. He's elevated in his humanity and his art is unsurpassed by anyone. You know, working with him as a director and actor is seamless, you know. Uh, and he it was really a lesson in truth-telling and simplicity, you know. I, we really felt honored to just, he asked us to stand with him, stand by him, mm -hmm. don't be in awe of him. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to bring the best actors aboard to stand with him and tell this story. Mm -hmm. Right, he handpicked all of us himself. Wow. Which, which is an honor, because this represents the next page, the next chapter in Denzel's life, which is the giving back chapter. Mm -hmm. Right. And so he's all about that, all of his life's journey, but now it, this is really special to him. Uh, Russell, speaking of journeys, this is your last season of Grimm yes. on NBC. What's that like, bringing that to a close? Uh, it, um, sort of bittersweet. You know, it's been a wonderful journey. Six seasons uh, on NBC. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, have a new family. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things where now it's time to move on. We've told the stories that we can tell, and it's uh, time to say goodbye. Well, uh, we don't want to say goodbye to these characters and Fences. People won't have to. McKelty and Walter, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good to see you. And Fences hits theaters on Christmas Day. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.